Hey guys, this is Bo. Welcome back. I know I'm going to do a little something. I know there are about five, four or five hours there's going to be another of the Garam Masala series, which is the Clash of Kings, which will be coming out, but I figured, what the hell, I haven't done a video where I'm just hanging out with you guys, so I figured I'd just do a quick one just to update you on what's going on. Uh, yeah, yeah, sexy new glasses, had to get them thanks to my contacts, not enjoying the fact that I work on a computer all day, imagine that, right? So, uh, what's new, basically just still rocking and rolling, really enjoying what I'm doing, hopefully you guys are enjoying the channel. If you got this, more than likely you actually pay attention to your subscription feed, which means because you got two videos in a day. Yeah, I'm fuck, yes! So, uh, here we are down in the workshop, figured I would at least do a little something-something since I have not done a kind of worldly check-in video in a while, and I figure I want to show you guys something cool that I just have been working on. I uh, pretty much had a whole bunch of just wood and crap laying around in there and just needed something to do with it, and one of my coworkers actually was complaining that she did not have a jewelry box of some sort. Now, as a woodworker, I can't not th let that go, so I figured, check this shit out. Bam! Bitches, motherfucker, what you talking about? So what are you actually looking at there? This is a cherry bottom with a little bit of oak. This red uh, orangey wood is called paduk, which turns kind of brown later, but it's pretty, <laughs> pretty sweet when you get it all stained. And then this is called tiger maple, because you can kind of see little tiger stripes in it. And the cool part is when you open it, uh, look, there's a little bear in there. There's a little bear. Actually, what that is, is Western Red Cedar, and it's the stuff you uh, buy. It's called Aromatic Cedar. It's the stuff you get at, like, Home Depot or, like, a Bed Bath Beyond, and it's, like, $10 for, like, a little cube or some shit, or you get the little blocks and you put it in your, your closet. Here's the thing that people don't want you to know about that western red cedar is like i have boards of this shit laying around like look at it. this is a whole board of that stuff and it's like three bucks uh, a board foot so that means two feet of this stuff for like three dollars yeah so this is like a six dollar board maybe and this is like 30 or 40 of those things you can buy for a cut like shit like five ten dollars a piece at uh Bed Bath & Beyond. So if you ever decide you want to get aromatic red cedar or do the little planks you put in your closet, you know, that that's the way to do it. You go to the lumber yard, you get red western cedar, and it smells delicious. I love working with it because it just smells so good. Uh, so, I mean, what I'm doing with this is there's little hinges on the back. Uh, eventually, I got to get a little string thing so when it opens, it doesn't like flap open. But originally, I was not going to put any hinges on it because personally, I don't like using a lot of like metal stuff. But it, it's a jewelry box. It's kind of stupid if you're like, and you can't like do that. You know, that's what most people expect from a jewelry box. So that's kind of the idea that I'm rolling with. It's pretty dope though. I mean, and it smells freaking awesome in there. So this is the unfinished. That means I haven't done any kind of finish to it yet. Um, I'm going to be using an oil finish because I freaking love oil finishes. And it's going to be inside, so I don't have to worry about UV or anything like that. Anywho, outside of that, uh, a couple other things I'm doing here are some cutting boards. These are ridiculously hard. Uh, it doesn't look hard because it's a bunch of blocks, but imagine this. You're making a cut for every single one of these. And if you're off by even uh, a 64th or half a millimeter or even a quarter of a millimeter, there are... 17 different things here. So you have 17 times whatever you screwed up on, and then that compounds itself all the way through. So even at, uh, shoot, even half a millimeter, right, over 20, you're talking a whole centimeter off. It's, it's that critical. So the one thing I like about the woodworking is it does take a lot of, um, it's a very precise, like, hobby, as well as, for me, it gets me out of my head. Because you guys can imagine, I mean, I got uh, the YouTube thing happening, I got the baby, I got my wife, I got my job. Uh, then you guys, you know, I don't really consider you much of a job, I actually consider you more of a pleasure. It's actually more fun for me making YouTube videos and just making videos in general than it is uh, any other thing. Uh, oh, a uh, point in note for you guys, a couple things. I figured if you guys are actually dedicated viewers, you will 
be on this video watching it and you're gonna be bros, okay? So if you were to go and click on my channel, which is you go down like here or here and you click uh, Gaming Coach X, you'll then see my channel page pops up. Go to the about page on my channel and you'll see there's two new links there. There is a Bo IRL link, which is gonna be more like just me bullshitting like stuff I wouldn't want to put on Gaming Coach X. I mean, it's not like I have high standards anyway, but let's say non-gaming stuff because Curse Gaming really has a huge kind of, they want most of my content to be gaming stuff because that's mostly where they make their money. And IRL stuff, I want to be able to segment away from Gaming Coach X uh, for stuff when I'm talking about like, I don't know, like gun reviews or even the woodworking stuff. I'd rather do it on those kind of channels because I can always mention it on the main channel while I'm doing a playthrough or something, but I'd prefer to have the content on my Gaming Coach X channel be more about like actual video games. Uh, so then there's one more channel and it's uh, YouTubeCoachX.com. That'll be the place I'm gonna put a whole bunch of videos on how to actually do YouTube. Now you know I've all, everyone's probably seen or at least heard me say that I've written a book and it's called uh, Play Games, Get Paid. And it's a book about how to start a gaming channel on YouTube. I've been trying to apply that to other mediums. So I have a friend who does uh, yoga and she's writing a book on yoga and I'm trying to help her define what her channel is, who her audience is, like what other big channels out there potentially would like to have a piece of that pie and just kind of formulating a, a strategy for how to build a YouTube channel or if more importantly, where and what YouTube channel you should be plugging your activity on. So that'll be at uh, YouTube, Game, YouTube Coach X is the new one, or it's YT Coach X, I think one of those. I was able to get one of the URLs, but I have a good feeling YouTube doesn't want YouTube, YouTube, you know, YouTube.com, YouTube anything, so it's YT Coach X. So uh, subscribe to both of those channels for me. I just want to be curious to see how many of you are actually paying attention and follow that. But if you're not, then I'll do videos and you'll find me eventually when you need the help. Uh, but uh, yeah, other than that, guys, I mean, it's mostly just a whole lot of just balancing work and uh, home life and then trying to do this on the side. I mean, it, the hardest part, I think, about doing anything that you enjoy a lot is that sometimes you got to do a lot of stuff you don't enjoy in order to get the pleasure of doing stuff you enjoy. So in my case... Uh, going to my job nine to five, trying to make that work. Plus, even before nine, my boy wakes up at like seven thirty, maybe even seven, and it's basically like, okay, seven o'clock, I'm on, because he's like trying to kill himself. That's just what kids do is they try to kill themselves all the time, especially when they're only like eighteen months. So he's a handful. Then I drive him to daycare. Then I drive to work, go to work, and then go back to daycare to pick him up. So like my day really doesn't even stop until he goes to sleep. Like, he wakes up, I'm on. He goes to sleep, then I finally get my time back. And by the time he goes to bed now, because of the summer age, because it's so light outside for so long, it's like 10 o'clock. So that means from 7 to 10, basically I'm working. And then from 10 to whenever I feel like going to sleep, uh, that's, that's my time. That's like what I'm doing right now. I mean, shit, it's 12.45 a.m. right now. And that's... Um, that's it's my time, and I'm I'm actually spending the time, just in my wood shop, just trying to relax a bit and just forget. Because I had a lot of plans. I'm, I want to still do partner evaluation videos. Uh, I want to start populating videos on YouTube game, YouTube Coach X, as well as my Bow IRL video uh, channel. And those I, I got to do a channel trailer before I get those started, so people know, and then I can start populating it out. Um, I mean, I'm just following the same principle I do with Gaming Coach X, which is make sure that you follow all the steps so that way people can find you as easy as possible. And what else? Let's see. Hmm. Oh, shit. God. I have so much shit going on right now. I'm just trying to think about what, like the multitude of things. Uh, plus, uh, I'm thinking for the month of July to do a diet and exercise and just see if I can drop some weight. I'm not looking for a huge goal. I'm looking for, like, pound a week so right now i'm like i think 225 220 somewhere in that range and you see this yeah that wasn't there before the boy and before my wife and all that stuff and i'm trying to think of a way to kind of 
start getting that back in check. So with all my sitting down at work, sitting down for YouTubing and gaming, but at least I walk around and do a lot of manual work for woodworking, and it's a lot of work, actually. It's it's definitely not wood making. It's it's wood fucking crafting and rah, screaming and yelling and sanding. So much sanding. But anyway, um, I just wanted to kind of throw it out there. And if you guys see this and you follow my steps, I should have a lot of people's uh, subscribing things. And let's see. Uh, I'll probably do some giveaways in the other channels too just to kind of populate them a bit and reward you guys for kind of being bros and going over there and helping me get that started so uh anyways guys i uh, hope you enjoyed it and if uh, just like anyway anytime if you have any questions or anything just drop them in the comments below and i'll do my best to answer them uh obviously if you're a cock bag more than likely i'm not going to answer but if you're asking a genuine question generally i'll answer as you guys well know so uh until next time like comment subscribe you guys as always and uh thanks again for being super bros and we'll talk to you later see ya